Hey traders, so support and resistance is a concept that is very simple to understand, but the only problem is it's very difficult to actually apply. Okay, so in today's trading video, I wanna show you some secrets that you are not supposed to know about support and resistance, okay? These secrets cost us a lot of money to learn. Okay, it's not something that, uh, you know, you, you can easily find, okay? We, we paid, uh, you know, people to, to, to learn from, okay? So hopefully, uh, you know, you, you get something out of this video and uh, you really apply it as though you paid for this uh, information, okay? So let get, let's get into today's video. Okay, so in today's video, you will learn how to draw support and resistance step by step. Okay, a lot of people, you know, they, they approach support and resistance levels in a very haphazard way. So in this video, I want to show you how you approach the support and resistance in a very step by step manner so that you can follow it every single time. Okay. Now, the big secret that I want to show you is that I also, I also want to show you how do you tell when a support and resistance level is about to break or is going to hold, okay? This is the key uh, to trading support and resistance because if you can tell that a support or resistance is going to hold, then you can buy or sell off that level, okay? Conversely, if you know it's going to break, then you can do the breakout trade instead. Okay, so this part is uh, really very crucial information, it's something that costs us a lot of money to learn. Okay, so I hope uh, you really benefit from this. Right? I hope that you take a lot of notes and you really apply this as though you know you paid thousands for it uh, as we did. Okay, so let's get into uh, step uh, lesson number one, okay, part one, which is how do you draw support and resistance step by step, okay? So I have the steps here for you, okay? But uh, what I will do is I will head over to the charts uh, to show you a live example so that uh, you can follow along, okay? So step one is you want to zoom out of your charts, okay? You want to open your charts and you want to zoom out. Okay, the reason for it is that uh, you want to see the market uh, from a wider perspective. You do not want to zoom in too, too, too in, into the chart such that you're only seeing a few candles, okay? You want to see the, the chart as a, at, at, at a glance, okay? That's step number one. So step number two involves identifying the most obvious levels, okay? Here's a quick tip for you, okay? If you are asking yourself, should I choose this level or should I not choose this level? Then chances are that is not an obvious level, okay? You want to choose levels which pop up at you. Okay, meaning that the moment you look at it, you say, okay, that's it, that's a key level, okay? If, you know, you're in a state of, um, is this level considered, is it not considered, then you want to just avoid that level, okay? And step number three is you want to adjust your level so that it touches the most candle, okay? Because you want your levels to be uh, as accurate as possible. So how do you tell that your level is accurate? Is when it has the most touches and price respects the uh, level as many times as possible. Okay, so let's get into the chart so I can show you how do we actually do this. Okay, so what I have over here is I have a euro dollar chart. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go through this process. Okay, so step one, okay, zoom out if you have not already. Okay, you can zoom out something like this. Zoom out such that uh, you can see a lot of the uh, candles. Okay, uh, I'm not going to give you a hard and fast rule about uh, how many times you, you should zoom out, but uh, the idea is that you just want to zoom out so that you can see the market, uh, you know, holistically rather than you know trade and zoom in to um, you know just the past few candles. Okay, so just zoom out. Okay, so that is step uh, one. Okay, step two is you want to identify the most obvious levels. So in this case, uh, let me just start by drawing some lines, okay? So I'm going to take this level, okay? Because this is the most obvious line, okay? I'm also going to take the bottom one over here, okay? And I'm going to take uh, this one over here, this turning point here, okay? I'm going to take the bottom turning point here, okay? And I'm uh, probably going to put one more line uh, at this turning point here, okay? So that's it. Okay, it's so simple, right? That's step number two. Just identify the major turning points, okay? Do not have to identify every single turning point. Re remember, you're just looking for the most obvious levels, okay? If you draw every single line, you're going to clutter your chart and you're going to confuse the hell out of yourself, okay? So do not do that. Okay, what you want to do is you want to keep your charts clean, okay? So that's step number two. Now, step number three is you want to adjust your line such that it reflects the most number of touches uh, at each level. So you can see uh, this upper line, I probably will shift it uh, a bit down, okay? Because uh, it touches uh, more lines just by uh, moving it down. I can touch this high, this high, this high, uh, this high, this high, and something uh, around here, okay? I'll move it this way. So this one, I will uh, just adjust it again. 
Okay, okay, I think this is good. Okay, and this one over here, I will uh, just adjust it further a bit. Okay, and this one it's fine because you have one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, and uh, this one is the extreme. Okay, so that is how you do it. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, uh, just take note that there are no perfect levels. Okay, so uh, I might draw it this way, but you might not draw it this way. Okay, so that's fine. That's part and parcel of trading. Okay, trading is partly science and partly art. Okay, so this is where the art aspect of trading comes in. Okay, but this is the process that you should be following every single time. Okay, you want to zoom out and you want to place at the most obvious levels, then you adjust the levels to get your support and resistance levels. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so let's go back uh, to the lesson. Okay, let's go back to uh, this uh, lesson that I prepared for you. Okay, so I've talked about how to draw support and resistance levels. Okay, so hopefully you pause this video and you go try this out, right? If it's possible, look for the same exact chart, Euro dollar, and try to find the uh, key support and resistance level on your, on your own, okay? Now, by the way, if you have not downloaded our free day training guide, we have a free day training guide prepared for you and the link is in the description below. So make sure you grab that. Okay, it's free. And uh, we teach you how to draw support and resistance, how to identify trend, uh, read candlesticks, everything. All the good stuff is there. Okay. Meanwhile, so give us a thumbs up, right? Subscribe to this channel because, you know, we are doing our best to help you, right? If you enjoyed our content, let us know. So if you have a specific issue that you are facing, let us know so, so that, you know, we can create videos like this to help you, okay? We're trying to be the best YouTube channel out there. So um, just let us know, okay? So this is uh, how to draw support and resistance level. Now let's talk about uh, when a support or resistance level is likely to hold. Okay, I want to give you some pointers about, you know, or rather telltale signs of how you know that a support and resistance level is going to hold, okay? Now, when a resistance or support is going to hold, normally you see large momentum candles into the level, okay? Now, this is huge, okay? This is something that no one talks about. This is something that costs us a lot of money, okay? So, if you have not been paying attention, you know, you've been doing 1,000 1, other stuff while watching this video, you want to pause your other distractions and you want to focus on this part, okay? Because no one else talks about this, okay? Now, here's the thing. When you see a large momentum candle into your support or resistance level, that is a key that the support or resistance level is going to hold, okay? I repeat, if you see a large candle going into your level, a big large candle, let's say it's a big bullish candle into your level, that is a very strong sign that price is going to be resisted or supported at that level, okay? A big candle like this, okay? Let's say you have the resistance here and price uh, close somewhere here, okay? A big candle here, okay? So you might ask me, why, why, why is it so, right? If, if you know, price is going in so strong, uh, why, why don't I just buy the breakout, you know? Um, this candle is so strong, I should buy the breakout. Okay, now the reason is very simple because when you have a big candle like this go smashing into a uh, resistance, this big candle represents emotional buying or selling. Okay, it's emotional in nature, meaning that it's not a structured rally. Okay, what's a structured rally? A structured rally is something like this. Okay, so price had the time to, um, to go up. It had the time to consolidate over here to, to, to build its position up, you know, for institutional players to accumulate their position before pushing price higher. Okay, but when you have something like, you know, uh, this is your support and your resistance here and price just smash here, smash the level without any form of build up towards the level, okay, that is emotional buying and selling, okay? So what happens is that if people are emotionally buying, then they will also be very emotional when it comes to selling, okay? So as a general rule of thumb, if, some, if a level is being attacked strongly, should there be a retracement? then the retracement downwards will also be equally strong, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you. I'll show you an example so that uh, you, know, you, you, you can understand what I'm talking about, okay? But I want you to un really understand that large momentum candles into your key support and resistance level is not a sign that the level will break, okay? It's actually a sign that the level is going to hold, okay? However, if you see a structured rally into the level, okay, then it's a sign that the level is going to break, okay? Uh, I will cover this in the last part, so not to worry about that, okay? So you want to look, look out for large momentum candles, okay? So that's the first thing you want to look out for. The other one is uh, your typical uh, uh, 
you know, typical concept that is taught by a lot of uh, videos out there. You have a support and you see a strong rejection in the form of a pin bar or, you know, a nice uh, bullish engulfing pattern or some form of a strong rejection of the level. Okay, so you can combine these two together to tell whether a level is going to hold or it is going to break. Okay, so let me show you... Uh, let me show you uh, the example over here. Okay, so in this case, we are back at a uh, euro dollar again. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so this is a uh, euro dollar again. So look at this candle over here. Okay, so you realize that this is a large, uh, large momentum candle. Okay, it is a large momentum candle into resistance. Okay, so what happens after that, right? What happens is a lot of traders they say, oh, that's such a big candle into resistance. There must be a breakout. So what happens is that they buy and they lose money, okay? Because, you know, they've been told by other, you know, other trading gurus or some, something that they learn online that, oh, if, you know, the candle closed very, uh, very strongly into a level, it's a sign it's going to break, okay? That's not true, okay? So that's very, very important. If there's only one thing you get out of this video, it is this concept, okay? When you see large momentum candles into the level, okay, this represents emotional buy, okay? So if you see a strong one like this, okay, don't expect the level to break, okay? Because people who buy are all emotionally buying it up, okay? So what happens is that when they see price comes down, uh, they are also exiting their positions quickly, okay? So when they exit the position, it's actually a sell order, right? Because when they buy, they need to sell. So when they sell, price drops very fast. Okay, so you want, want to be very clear that uh, when you see such candles, uh, do not get tricked. Do not get tricked and buy, you know, try to buy here because you say, oh, this is, the, this is going to break out. Okay, so just take note of that. Okay, so that's how you tell that a support and resistance, resistance level is likely to hold. Okay, what about the opposite, right? How do you tell that, um, oh, sorry, let me just talk about this emotional buying and selling first. Okay, um, sorry, I missed that out. Okay, so what is emotional buying and selling? It's very simple. Okay, emotional buying and selling means that price goes up. Okay, it barely even retraces and it goes back up again. Okay, so price did not have time to, uh, you know, uh, slowly consolidate, right? It doesn't have time, price, price doesn't have time to uh, slowly distribute, you know, for institutional players to accumulate their positions over here. Okay, so even before they accumulate, price is already moving up. So basically, people are buying, buying, buying without actually uh, building some form of uh, structure. Okay, so that is emotional buying. Okay, the opposite of emotional buying or selling is a structured rally. Okay, what's a structured rally? You have a up, you have a up, then you have some form of retracement, then you have up again, you have some form of retracement, then you're up again. So what happens in this kind of scenario is that the market has time to accumulate, you know, and distribute over here, okay? In fact, institutional players are loading up their positions on this kind of, um, you know, retracement, this kind of consolidation, okay? So in this kind of market, when the, the market is rallying, it consolidates, rally, consolidates, it's harder for price to just come down because there are a ton of support here, there are a ton of support here, okay? But in the case of a structured, uh, sorry, in the case of an emotional buying, when price just, you know, do this, doesn't even consolidate, just goes up, uh, what happens is that when price comes down, it will just come down very equally fast because there is no structure here. There is no consolidation here. There is nothing to stop price from coming back down, okay? So this is why uh, you do not want to uh, buy, you know, you do not want to buy when you see, um, you know, you see such a strong candle into a resistance, okay? You want to do the opposite is you want to sell. Okay, you want to sell into the strength. Okay, so that's uh, how, you, how you identify uh, you know, a level that's likely to hold. Now let's move on to how do you tell that a level is about to break. Okay, this is the opposite. Okay, you need to know both because uh, you need to be able to tell, okay, if the level is not going to hold, then it's going to break, right? Because it either holds or it breaks. In trading, you, you, when you're trading support and resistance, you either buy at the level or you sell at the level. Okay, so it's, it's rather straightforward. Okay, so there are three things that you, I want you to look out for when uh, you're looking at a support and resistance level. Okay, number one is a higher lows into resistance, which is also known as a ascending triangle. Okay, let me show it to you what's ascending triangle. So ascending triangle is something like this. Okay, okay, sorry, this is um, pretty bad. Let me just draw it clearly. Okay, you have an up. Okay, this is your resistance. And then you have uh, something like this. Okay, and uh, something like this. Okay, with your trend line, something like this. Okay, that's your ascending triangle. 
Okay, descending triangle is the opposite. Okay, this is your support. Um, price is coming down. Okay, and uh, like that. Okay, uh, not to worry. I have a uh, some some uh, charts for you to to understand this concept. Okay, so you want to look for ascending triangle or descending triangle depending on whether you are trying to buy or trying to sell. Okay, the next thing you want to look for is you want to look for a trend line or moving average build up. Okay, I'll explain this in greater detail through the uh, examples that I have prepared for you. Okay. Okay, so this one over here, it's actually a uh, ascending triangle. Okay, let me show you. So you have the uh, resistance over here, and then you have the uh, you know higher, higher lows being uh, created over here. Okay, so you can see price goes up, bounce, goes up, bounce. Okay, so that is uh, how you identify that this level here is about to break. Okay, you have higher lows in the level. Okay, in this case, you also see a very nice uh, ascending triangle. Okay, you have the trend line build up as well. The trend line is supporting price, uh, pushing price. Okay, that also means that buyers are willing to buy at a higher price. At first, they are willing to buy here. After that, they are willing to buy here. And after that, they are willing to buy here. Okay, so this is a telltale sign. This is a very good telltale sign that this resistance here is no longer going to be good, right? It's a telltale sign that you shouldn't be selling at this resistance. Okay, you should be looking to trade the breakout. Okay, now. This is the second example that I have for you. Lower highs into support. Okay, this is the opposite. This is a descending, uh, descending triangle. So you have a support over here, 1.11434. Okay, and then you have the uh, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so this high and this high, okay, this is a lower high. This is a high, this is a lower high. Okay, so you have a series of lower highs into support. Okay, and you also have the trend line, uh, trend line. Okay. So this is another telltale sign that uh, the support is going to be broken. Okay, so this is how you identify it. It's, it's rather straightforward. Uh, I don't think I need to explain more about uh, this on this chart. Okay, now this is the last example that I have for you, which combines everything that I mentioned. Okay, so let's break this down. Okay, this one is the same thing as Euro dollar again. You have lower highs in the support. You have a high here. Okay, then you have a high here, and then slowly you have a high here. Okay, and you also have a trend line. Okay, you have a trend line down and you have the moving average pushing price down. So you have all three. Okay, remember I have, have it here. Uh, these are the three features, right? Either you have the higher lows into resistance, which is if you are trying to buy, okay, lower lows into support, which is your descending triangle, uh, you are trying to sell, okay, in, in the example is selling, or you look for a trend line and moving average build up. So in this case, you see that, um, in this case, you see that, you see that there is uh, all, all of it over here. Okay, you see that there is a descending triangle. Then you have a moving average, uh, you know, build up, and then you have the trend line build up as well. Okay, so this is how you identify that the support is going to break. Okay, in this case, you can see that uh, it, it turned out perfectly. Price did indeed break. Okay, so knowing how to identify um, both of this, right, when a support or resistance is likely to break and when it is likely to hold, is a very important skill set that you need to develop. Okay, you need to keep training your eyes to watch out for uh, this. Okay, so just a recap, right, before I end off this video, right, in this video, I show you how to draw support and resistance step by step. Okay, I gave you three steps. Okay, step one is you zoom out. Okay, step two is you want to identify the most obvious levels. And step three is you want to move your levels such that it touches the most number of uh, candles. Okay, if you need to, you know, go back, Make sure you go back to this video, right? Go back to that part and rewatch it. Okay. Then I also talk about how do you identify whether a support or resistance level is likely to hold. Okay, that is by identifying emotional buying and selling. Okay, non-structured uh, rallies to a level. Okay, that's how you tell that the level is likely to hold. Okay, and lastly, I also talk about how do you identify that a support and resist resistance level is likely to break. Okay, I gave you um you know a few pointers, which is whether there's a build up, you know, there's a trend line moving average build up, or whether there's a ascending or descending triangle towards your key support and resistance level. Okay, so that's it for this video, right? Please give us a thumbs up if you benefited from this video, right? Let us know your thoughts. Let us know if you have any questions. Okay, we'll be happy to address it. Okay, so make sure you subscribe and download our free day trading guide in the description below. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.